Hey everyone, short video today, but the news is pretty big. A Crytek executive just gave us a little sample of what we can expect from Hunt's future. No, this isn't the roadmap video. We will talk about that whenever it goes live. Instead, this video is about an interview PC Gamer conducted with Crytek's general manager, David Fifield. I will link those articles in the pinned comment. You should definitely give them a read because I won't cover all the details, just some of the headlines. But in that interview, David said, the game currently runs on a legacy version of CryEngine from four years ago. So one of our major talking points across 2023 is going to be about updating to the latest 5.11 version of CryEngine, which is four years newer. So, Crytek is working on upgrading the engine that Hunt Showdown runs on to a newer version, but like I said earlier, that's going to take a while, so, you know, be hyped, but also manage that hype a little bit. However, whenever that does happen, we can probably expect performance and gameplay improvements. I tried to do some digging on the differences between the different versions of CryEngine, and as far as I can tell, CryEngine version 5.7 is the most recent public version. However, Crisis 4 is in active development, so maybe CryEngine is being further improved internally, which would make sense for the different version numbers. Another little update from the article regards player onboarding. David said, we're working in improving the tutorial and having a more scripted tutorial with more explanations and what we would say is just better teaching than the existing training missions. Player onboarding is something I talked about recently in my video about Hunt Showdown's 10 biggest issues. The game is just really hard to learn, saying that as someone who has tried to get multiple friends interested in the game and failed. So those are the headlines ahead of the developer roadmap video. Hunt is being upgraded to a newer version of CryEngine in the distant future, and Crytek is actively looking at the player onboarding situation and seems to have a plan to make it better. Personally, I'm excited, but I don't want to speculate too much on what those improvements might be. However, one quote that really caught my eye is when David said, we're curious to see how high can the population, the engagement, and all that stuff go. And then, in another article, he says, We don't even know what our peak is, referring to the player count, which has continued to rise. So, with how different Devil's Moon was, and the new things they tried with the anniversary Twitch Drops event with the Bounty Bash, and now new quest lines that have been announced, and then the roadmap, which is coming soon, it certainly feels like a good time to be a fan of Hunt Showdown. This almost feels like a new era of the game with a transparent look into the work that is going on in the background. Maybe I'm just feeling a little hopeful, but in my personal opinion, there are things on the horizon that are looking pretty good, and I'm excited to see what happens. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the news in the comments below. Be sure to check out those articles because I'm sure they worked hard on them. And until the next video, goodbye.